Happy New Year, everybody, 2022. Beard free, it's a nice, easy way to drop 10, 15 years. But um, as it's New Year's Day, we just wanted to catch up on what we considered our best flavors of 21. If you disagree or you prefer some other ones that we did throughout the year, make sure you comment below, let us know. We might look back and maybe remake some of them. Anyway, the first one we're gonna bring out was the Gimme S'more from January 21. This is a Ben & Jerry's flavor, which is a toasted marshmallow base with graham cracker swirls, chocolate cookie swirls, and fudge flecks. Now this one is one that I really loved, and I this was the first time I ever made anything s'mores or eight, anything s'mores really, but the base was incredible. It was a toasted marshmallow base. So the marshmallows were toasted in the oven, they were put in the blender with the rest of the items, blended up really nicely. You got that smokiness from the marshmallows coming through. It was incredible. It was a really, really nice flavor. And actually it's, it's one that I want to make again. I probably won't make a video about it because it will be the same, but it's an incredible ice cream. And if you've not tried it, I'll put a link to this video. I'll put a link to all the ice creams that we're gonna talk about in the description below. So you can go back, check it out and make it yourself. This was the tub for the Gimme S'mores. Really nice, cute little tub. My wife is not happy with it. She wants to redo it. So we might revisit this one at some point so she can redo the tub, but we'll just put that down there. Feels really, it is now take. Feels really weird not having a beard on. I don't have to talk anymore. I'm sure a lot of people, there are definitely some people out there that would prefer that I didn't. Next one is Fudge Actually. This is one of our own flavors that we created for Valentine's Day. It was a lovely tub, as you can see, based around the movie Love Actually. What was it? It was a ruby chocolate and chambord ice cream base with a chambord strawberry swirl with fudge flecks going through it. It was a really, really nice, super smooth ice cream. The, the ruby chocolate, there's a whole thing about it. Technically it's not chocolate, but it's it just added a nice texture, a nice smooth creaminess to the ice cream. The chambord wasn't so strong that it overpowered everything. It was really scoopable. It was just a very decadent, luxurious ice cream. One that if you've never tried ruby chocolate before or at all, let alone in ice cream, try this one. It's a really, really good one. The next one is Stark Raving Hazelnuts. Hello, I'm Isla. We're going to make Stark Raving Hazelnut ice cream today. I've run many computations and have concluded the following is the most faithful combination. A muscovado hazelnut ice cream with a whiskey swirl. Why we chose this one? As a couple, we are slightly obsessed with Marvel. I read many, many graphic novels and comics over the years. We've watched all the movies, blah, blah, blah. You can imagine what it's like. So it was an obvious thing to do, start raving hazelnuts. Now I'm just looking through the ingredients list for this one and phew, that was not a cheap one to make. Buzzing phones. It had Frangelico, it had the vanilla beans, the Piedmont hazelnuts, it had the whiskey caramel sauce, which was the Laphroaig whiskey. Not a fan of that whiskey, gotta be honest. But you could just change that for anything. You don't have to go as mad as we did in this in this video. It was more just an experiment just to see what it would actually be like if Tony Stark were to create an ice cream that was kind of in line with his personality. So what was so good about it? I mean, the tub alone, check that out. Sir, the physical render is complete. Again, this is a tub that my wife also wasn't happy with, I don't know. But I think this is great. I'm a huge Iron Man fan. He's my favorite. We disagree, hers is Captain America, you know, America's ass. So we're just gonna put that one there. We might come back and look at that one later on in a year, maybe do it a little bit more normal but the video for that took me forever to make it, it was really taxing on our new computer to actually edit that one so it was all good fun 
This video was also the first time that you saw our daughter Ellie come into it. She looks very, very different now. She doesn't really eat the ice cream. She's still a little bit young for it and there's a lot of sugar and obviously some of them have alcohol in it, but you know, we, we do try her and she does love a little bit of ice cream. So who knows, maybe she'll make another flash appearance soon. And the next one, the fourth one is my favorite haagen ice cream. Now, midnight cookies and cream, chocolate midnight cookies, triple chocolate fudge cookie, all the same thing. Depends on whereabouts in the world you are, what day of the week it is, and what side of the bed you got out of. Depends on what haagen decided to call it, but it's the same ice cream. This was my favorite as a kid, when it became available anyway. I wanted to make this flavor. I remember exactly how it used to taste back then when I was a kid, and this was a perfect recreation of it. If you're not a chocolate fan, avoid this one. But if you are, it's chocolate heaven. Just give it a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This came out in June or July, did you? July. July. So July last year. It's been obviously six months. I need to make this again. On to the last one. Number five for our little collection was or is Ample Hills Coffee Toffee Coffee. There's a lot of coffee in this one. It's coffee, chocolate covered coffee toffee in a coffee ice cream. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of coffee going on. This was the first Ample Hills one that we made and it kind of blew us away actually. It was incredibly good. Obviously we are big coffee fans. We have been developing a coffee business in the background. When the time's right, we will release that to the public. Probably won't be the next six to 12 months, probably a little bit after that, but it made sense to try coffee ice cream. This was back in September last year. I've still got some of the remnants in the freezer. It's probably had it by now, but I'll just eat it because I can. So that's our top five best ice creams of 2021. Like I said, if you disagree or there's one that you really thought should have been in this list, let us know in the comments. But we can't go without some special mentions. And the special mentions are creme brulee cookies. This is the biggest failure. Video didn't even make it out. I got halfway through the base, failed massively. I'll get back round to that one at some point. Great tub though. Salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough. Our first salt and straw, really good. Oh, might have turned it to the front so you can see what it looks like. This has changed how we make all our cookie dough from that point on, so really, really good. The Friends Central Perk ice cream. Now, Serendipity don't get great reviews online, so I doubt that theirs tastes as good as mine. Just saying. But this was really good. It's another coffee ice cream, weirdly enough, but recommend you try this recipe. And caramel brownie party this was a recommended flavor by one of our subscribers and it was incredible really really good now actually they've released this flavor in the uk so this year we can actually buy it and make this again and compare it so who knows maybe we will finally hunker hulker burning fudge this has a special mention because my wife feels it's her favorite tub design I mean, it was really, really good. I probably cocked up the, the green chocolate top, but you know, no one's perfect. So this was a great one. Nice, fictitious, lovely fudge swirl in that one. Really good. So anyway, there you go. Some notable mentions of our 2021 ice cream roundup. Let us know what you think. We're gonna start working on our next ice cream video tomorrow. That's gonna be released in just over a week's time. So hope you are ready to get pumping for ice cream in 2022. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.